What is Remembered Lives by Phoenix Le Fay. Developing Relationships with Deities, Ancestors, and the Fae. Um, when she goes through, um, yeah. <laughs> so I get people's pronouns right. Um, when she's talking about deities, she's talking about like the deities that she works with. Like she goes into deity profiles and and she mentions that in, um, when she starts talking about deities that she's going to mention the deities she um, works with but um, there are other like um, pieces of information that um, can um, when working with deities that can go into working with whatever deities that you work with so it's just this book is like to me like working with like the energies of of those that we like we can't particularly see and um like the different types of fae, those who've passed on. Um, and I did get more of a sense where like more like UK <laughs> type of like um information but like she is um american so how to develop a relationship with the unseen so like right off the bat um so like things you could do uh so you get like realm travel and invitation so like she talks about like the other world underworld and whatever throughout the book uh create a solid intention research make space be patient be open so it'll take time so like go through like a whole bunch of different um like how like certain information may come so like dreams signs and symbols and so on uh she does go through cultural appropriation so um basic format of, of a ritual so like if you're the type of person who does like the structure of a ritual and doesn't like to do things on the whim um goes through doing a ritual uh chakra alignment cauldrons alignment creating sacred space And like that's even before going into section one. And it's not and like each like deity, ancestor, and fae are divided into their own little categories. There it's not mixing in trying like this is how you connect ancestor, deity, fae. It's like separated in their own, own little way. And like she spells god g-o-d-d -D. like she like explained that at the beginning so like getting to know them um the d yeah so the deities included in, in this book are all gods that i've worked with in my own personal spiritual practice um so the deities um she put some history culture con 
cultural context and story about them so you get a bit of an introduction to them so deities of magic so like Baba Yaga um, history um, story Um, correspondences, uh, you get, um, ritual. So, like, that's how you get for each one. So, deities of mystery. So, um, you do get a bit of selection. Um, oh, and at the end you get other, a list of, um, so like this will, this list is other gods of mystery, so you would have gotten like other gods of like magic or whatever. So like, if you if you don't connect to the ones that she's mentioned earlier, and you get a list here where you might get um, one that you might have an interest in, like if you're more say Egyptian, Matt or Isis. So like, there's that. <laughs> So you've likely already, like if you're into Egyptian sphere, you've likely already heard of them. These of uh, revolution, um, yeah, so a list there. Um, so like Medusa, Artemis, so Honor, section two. Um, so like, goes into like, um, ancestor work. So like, you can, like going into ancestor work, you how you like, you can heal from it. Um, A ritual, um, grief as a magical practice. So, and like working, so sh there's a few other, a uh, few more chapters of working with the dead in some way. Um, get like incense and stuff. Uh, so section three, connections. So like this would be more of like the Fae. Um, Portion, so like working with them. Um, so, um, like the Fae don't have like their own realm they live in, and like talking about that, um, learning about your own land, learning about like local flora and fauna courtesies of like the fae um certain things um the wild hunt um there's like a few like rituals and um things to do um so and like in section four you get like talking about the wheel of the year so like what um days or moons are in that specific month so it goes through like January to December um, and like putting it all together and everything so two page bibliography so um, not much repetition of a whole lot of authors. Only two authors are repeated twice. So um, some authors will like use one author and like use all of their work and have like maybe two or three others. But um, Okay, so she's only used one of her, her own references, uh, her own works. Some authors do that. They'll use, like, say they have, like, four previous books. They'll use, like, three of those as references, but um, only used one and pretty decent. Um, 
like it's a good start to um each group whether it's dd ancestor or fey or like and it's good if like for those who want to combine um either all three or two of um the groups so um if you're really wanting to work with like the entities that you can't you know are there but can't really see this is a really good um really good uh book to have um it's really nice so what is remembered lives L lives what is remembered lives oh my goodness <laughs> uh so yeah what is remembered lives happy readings